In the vast matrix of our society, every individual faces a duality, the persona they believe they embody, and the essence of who they truly are. Here at Introvert Growth Quest, we challenge you to confront that duality. Today's mission, are you truly one of us, an introvert? Or are you just confusing occasional desires for a long time with a true introverted nature? Embarking on this quest for self-clarity might surprise you and guide you toward genuine self-liberation. Now that we've set our mission, let's clear up the noise and zero in on the truth. The matrix has its glitches, and so do our perceptions about introversion. Before diving deeper, let's debunk some common myths that cloud our understanding. 1. Introverts are shy. It's a popular belief, but not the complete truth. Shyness is about fearing what others think. Introversion? It's about where you find your energy, amongst the crowd or in your own company. 2. Introverts don't like people. Big misconception. Introverts value depth in relationships. They deeply value the connections they forge. Now that we've unveiled the myths clouding our understanding of introversion, are you ready to discover where you truly belong? This isn't your everyday questionnaire. Unlike the traditional quizzes that can be easily gamed, our introspective test dives deeper, ensuring an authentic reflection of your tendencies. Instructions 1. Honesty is key. Approach each question with authenticity. Remember, there's no right or wrong answer, only what's true for you. 2. Point system. Each response option comes with a specific point value. As you go along, make a note of the points corresponding to your answers. 3. Stay fluid. Don't overthink. Your first instinctive response is often the most reflective of your true nature. 4. Tallying and results. At the end of the test, tally up your total points. This will lead you to a spectrum of introversion, extroversion, or ambiversion. So, equipped with the understanding from our myth-busting, and with clear instructions in mind, let's embark on this enlightening quest. Dive into the matrix of your own being. 1. Upon entering a room filled with strangers, you A. Plus 2 points Seek out one person who seems approachable and engage in conversation. B. Plus 3 points Observe from the sidelines, gauging the dynamics. C. Plus 1 point Introduce yourself to a small group and initiate small talk. Two, a friend shares an exciting piece of news. Your reaction is to A. Plus three points. Reflect on how this change might impact them. B. Plus one point. Gather your group of friends to celebrate. C. Plus two points. Offer thoughtful advice or discuss the next steps. Three, you're asked to lead a project at work. Your first step is to A. Plus 2 points Collaborate closely with a trusted colleague B. Plus 3 points Take time alone to thoroughly understand the project's intricacies C. Plus 1 point Organize a team meeting for a brainstorming session Four. A weekend with no plans is approaching you prefer to A. Plus 3 points Spend it indulging in a personal hobby or relaxation technique B. Plus 2 points Invite a few close friends over for a movie or game night C. Plus 1 point Attend a local event or social gathering 5. You come across a challenging problem in your work or studies. Your approach is to A. Plus one point. Discuss it with peers or colleagues, getting multiple viewpoints. B. Plus three points. Dive deep into research and solitary contemplation. C. Plus two points. Seek out expert advice or consult a mentor. Six, a book and a party invite arrive on the same day. You, A, plus three points, decline the invite in favor of the new book. B, plus two points, balance both, attend the party for a while and later read a few chapters. C, 
see plus one point dive into the party experience saving the book for later seven your idea of a fulfilling evening involves a plus three points deep conversations with one or two close friends b plus one point engaging in a group activity or event c plus two points some alone time followed by a casual interaction with family or friends eight in a group project or activity you often a plus two points play a supportive role ensuring everyone's needs are met b plus three points take a step back to analyze and then provide strategic input c plus one point take charge ensuring energy and dynamism in the group's efforts nine when considering a big decision you a plus three points spend significant time in introspection and self-reflection B, plus one point, quickly consult friends and family for their perspectives. C, plus two points, make a pros and cons list and might discuss it with one trusted individual. Ten, you're at an event and a debate starts. U, A, Plus three points, listen more than you speak, absorbing various perspectives. B, plus one point, jump right in, passionately sharing your viewpoint. C, plus two points, share your opinion but are also open to modifying your stance based on the discussion. Eleven, when learning a new skill, you, A, Plus three points, prefer practicing in solitude until you gain confidence. B, plus one point, engage in active group sessions or workshops. C, plus two points, opt for a blend of self-study and group practice. Twelve, in social media or group chats, you often, A, Plus three points, observe and occasionally chime in when you have something meaningful to say. B, plus one point, engage actively, sharing and commenting regularly. C, plus two points, use it mainly for one-on-one -on -one interactions or sharing significant updates. Now, with your tally in hand, let's decode what these points illuminate about your unique position within this vast spectrum. Where do you stand? Let's discover. 12 to 18 points, you display strong extroverted tendencies. You gravitate toward dynamic interactions and draw energy from them. 19 to 26 points, you lean more toward ambiverted tendencies. You can seamlessly transition between moments of introspection and lively social scenarios. 27 to 36 points, your results highlight a more introverted nature. You often find comfort and rejuvenation in your personal space and introspective moments. We'd love to hear how you resonate with this result. Share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. The matrix of our personalities is intricate, layered with various tendencies and behaviors. Remember, this isn't about labeling yourself, but about gaining insights that can guide you on your personal growth journey. Today, we pose the question, are you one of us? Whether you found that you resonate deeply with introversion, dance with extroversion, or balance in the realm of ambiversion, recognize that every facet of you contributes to the unique masterpiece that is your identity. Please show your support by giving this video a thumbs up and sharing it with those on their own introspective journeys. And if you're not yet a part of our community, hit that subscribe button to join us on Introvert Growth Quest for more enlightening adventures. And now, our cherished quest quote, embark on each day with authenticity and curiosity. Until our next quest, seek clarity, embrace your truth, and always thrive in your growth.